Hey, welcome back to Skinny Scouter. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the loot that I acquired at Ragnar Oktoberfest. Let's get started. So, if you didn't know, Ragnar Oktoberfest is a Nerf event that happens yearly in the Bay Area of California. It runs over the course of a weekend and includes various activities such as a Blaster Expo, a day-long HVZ event, as well as 5v5 and Superstock events. So on the first day, there was a Blaster Expo. I decided that since I was near, I wanted to participate and I was a vendor there. I sold various different blasters like Strifes and Rapid Strikes, stuff that I had listed on eBay that I just wanted to liquidate. I didn't sell as much stuff as I would have liked to, but I did make a little bit of money and I had a lot of fun. As you may see, this says Bounty Hunt. Now, this is new for this year, and what you did was you go around to all the tables with, with the mark here, and you get a stamp from them. And once you've completed all of them, you turn it in, and you get a little prize. I got this little guy, which looks like he has Lego hands. I haven't tested to see if you can put lego accessories in there but it looks like you could i added little eyes because he needed eyes um, but what's cool about him is he is a picatinny rail attachment so you can put them on your blaster and have a little buddy since i had a lot of these magazines i decided to have a lot of people there sign it um, this was not signed there obviously i bought this from coop when he was retiring and had him sign it when he sent it to me uh, but several signatures, very fun. Hopefully I can get some more next year. I'm looking for Captain Xavier and Walcom especially, but we will see. Now you may or may not know of the YouTuber Brett. Sometimes he wears a beret. I'll put a link to his channel in the description if you're interested. Uh, but he sold me a couple of things because I happened to be there early, and he also did because we were setting up tables, and he decided to sell me a few things. The first of which being a triple torch, which he sold me for all of $15. Very nice purchase. No ammo. One of the clips back here is broken, but both of the stickers are intact, and it does catch and work very nicely. Video on this coming soon. The other thing he sold me was one of these. I forget what they're called, um, but he sold me this also for $15. Um, and it is complete. It has the magazine and the rail attachments. And I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a while. I am a fan of the Halo franchise. I don't play it a ton, but this blaster especially was very cool. And when I saw it came out, I really wanted one, but they're all like $70 to $100 now when you want to buy them on eBay. So finding one for $15, um, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, Brett. Very nice blaster. Another thing I acquired was some barrel segments um, for 50 cents a piece they're just scrap and i decided that maybe i will use them so kind of cool finally i acquired a whole bunch of stickers as well as this very cool rag fest 2024 sticker there was another one i got but i already put it on my chromebook it was this but glow in the dark and that was all that I acquired at the Blaster Expo. Not really as much stuff as I thought I was going to come home with, but I did have to run my table, so that ate some of my time. Now, for the HVZ, I acquired some props because I was there at Dark Cleanup and they were giving away things. But funny enough, the HVZ was actually a different event and it was called the Stalking Dead, and it was three teams of humans versus a team of zombies. Um, now, there were three different teams. I was on Team Yellow, and I got this bandana. I'm not sure if we were supposed to keep these or turn these in, but I kept it anyway. Um, the Stalking Dead, presented by Out of Darts. So, uh, yeah, kind of cool. And I also got some 3D printed props from the game. I got this med kit. I forgot what this did i think it gave you an extra life i got some of these insurance cards which have fine print to read if you wanted to read that it's the same on both of them i got one of these little cyber chips the theme for this year was uh cyberpunk so 
that probably makes more sense probably should have said that earlier um and some money this was the money euro dollars because i don't i don't i'm not really sure why they were euros um euro dollars we are in america after all so that's kind of cool and then finally i got this thing i don't know what they're called but i noticed that it does this and then i noticed it does this and it has a maze and if you follow the maze it will take you to this and then you can unscrew this and find that there's nothing in there I don't know if there was something in there or not. I never got to see what this was supposed to be in the game, but it was there at the end, and someone handed it to me and said, here you go, and I did not contest that. So, yeah. So, got this cardboard box with some neat paint on it. Don't mind the green splatters. That's from uh, a little bit of overspray on a project that I was working on. Video on that coming soon. If you like the game Helldivers, you will like what I was just working on. But, it's just a box. There's nothing special about it. It was convenient. I almost didn't take it, but I figured that I could put all of my stuff, like this 3D printed stuff and the bandana and all of that, in here for safekeeping. And that's pretty much all that I acquired at Ragfest. Like I said, not a ton of stuff, but had a lot of fun. And um, I will definitely be doing it again next year. And thank you so much to everyone that helped put on this event. It was really fun. I had a great time. And it couldn't have been done without you. So thank you. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.